email selected records via a PDF attachment. This tutorial applies to PSP Runner, ASPRunner.net and ASPRunner Pro. Here I have the exact same project we used in the previous tutorial. We used the city table and we emailed selected record in the body of the email. Going now straight to the page designer and I'm going to add a second button. Something like that. Email selected PDF. Okay, going to the event page, trying to find the button I just created. And this time we are going to need to find the selected records in the client before event. In the previous email selected button, we identified the selected record in the server event. Now I'm just going to prepare the the button quickly I will delete everything uh, I'm gonna leave return false because that's gonna be necessary for uh, this event on the server event I'm just gonna clear out everything here and the client after event now how are we going to identify the records in the client before event this is JavaScript and will work on ASP Runner and ASP Runner Pro. First, let's create a variable. I'm going to use the page object. And this is exactly why you need to get PHP Runner because the hard work is already done. We just tap into the selected records by doing what I just show you here now. Okay, um, now that we have the selected records, I'm going to test if the user actually selected some records we do that with the if statement and if the selected records dot if selected records dot length compares to zero it basically means no selected no records were selected and this is the main if statement now when we don't have any records selected we are going to use a sweet alert I'm using sweet alert version 2 this also takes an array so we will and I'm going to do an icon next will be the title and then the text For the icon I want a question mark, for the title I will just say seriously and for the text how must I send an email on no selected records, uh, let's put a question mark there, okay. So in the else is where the magic is basically going to continue, I need to take PDF palms and put it in a PDF file. We use the Ajax helper object. So it's going to be Ajax dot add PDF. And this is going to be interesting because Ajax dot add PDF actually need to do a couple of things to add the um, PDF palms into that PDF. Once it's complete, it's going to call the server event. But to do that, we need to specify the name that must go through to the server event. And I'll just call that PDF. And then with 
together with the PDF palms. Okay. Now the add PDF has a callback function and I'm going to call the dialog API inside of the callback function. So I'm going to add a third parameter here. In here we will add the dialog API. Now this time I'm not going to return because I already returned false over here. I'm just going to say ctrl dot dialog and then the normal dialog exactly the same as in the previous tutorial. To save some time I'm going to speed this up. You will note that I'm sending through the PDF file name because I'm going to ask the user what must the file name be, the email account where we want to send this email to, the subject of the email and the body of the email. And all of this will go through to the server event after the PDF is created and PDF will go through to the server event. So this event is basically complete now. Now for the server event, what are we going to receive? First, let me quickly share, if you are going to save your PDF file somewhere on the disk, it will be something like this. Uh, you will have to supply a file name. So this will save the file and obviously it's going to save it wherever this application is uploaded to as file.pdf just for those who wants to do that this is not what i am going to do the first thing i want to do is i'm going to create dollar attachments as an array now i'm going to populate the array I set the path and I set the name. Palms PDF is what's coming through from the client before event. It's exactly the same as what I've used just now. And then the file name, PDF file name from the client before event, it's the PDF file name. The user supply the file name. We know that the runner mail function needs an array. So I'm going to create a mail array, dollar mail. It is slightly easier to create the array outside of that function. I'll, I'll show you now. Okay, so I'm setting two subject, body and attachments. The, the two is going to come from the client before event in via the palms array subject and the body attachments is what we just created over here now i can call the runner mail function with the email or oh, sorry the mail variable or array so we don't have to type it all out inside those brackets but what I did not show you in the previous tutorial is that the runner mail returns something as well. So we can set a variable here. So now we know if something goes wrong with this email, it's going to be stored in $RET, just the return. And now we can do some testing if. So this is an array and I'm going to test for mailed. Basically if mailed is true then I'm going to set a result message via the dollar result array. My result 
is going to be something oh sorry and i'm just going to set it to true if it's not mailed something obviously went wrong and that will be in the in the else will be false but when it is false i also want to set a message and the message is going to be set by the runner mail function for us and we can just tap into it like this and that is as easy as that let's quickly check the syntax it looks good now for the client after event because we use true and false over here we can do it slightly different if we can now say result dot success so if that is true server event in other words if result dot success is true another sweet alert send ok else we will do another sweet alert That should do the trick. I have a problem. It will help if you close the thing properly. Okay, there we go. So we're going to fire a sweet alert result.message, and that comes from the server event result. Dot, sorry, result.message. That message comes from the runner mail, and that is it. Let's see how it works okay let's open the city table let's try and click the button without any selections and the sweet alert pops up nicely then let's select four eight nine maybe 15 i don't know four records and now it asks for a pdf file name i'm just gonna you see i i set the values I, I gave it default values so but we can I'm just gonna make it 12 whatever uh, the email account is fine I'm just gonna make this also 12 so we can see how it comes out in the email just I'm, I'm just showing you can change the value okay let's send the mail send okay and this is the email I just received you can see the number 12 as i changed the subject and the body and even the, the file name is it has changed so let's open up and these are the records we selected hoping this was helping somebody thank you very much for watching till next time